In this video, we'll practice predicting if reactions are spontaneous or non-spontaneous. Remember, in order for the oxidation of a metal to be spontaneous, like here, aluminum being oxidized to aluminum plus 3, it has to be paired with a less reactive metal cation. So once again, we're going to be looking at a metal and a metal cation. If this metal cation is less reactive, then the reaction will be spontaneous. So let's check to see if that's the case. Here's aluminum, our metal, and here's tin. Tin is our metal ion, and it's less reactive. So this reaction will be spontaneous. Let's take a look at this one. So will the oxidation of calcium, the calcium plus 2, be spontaneous? Well, in order for it to be spontaneous, this metal must be paired with a metal ion that's less reactive. So here's calcium, and then here's magnesium, which is our metal ion. So this reaction will also be spontaneous. How about this one? Is this reaction spontaneous? Well, let's find lead, our metal, that's right here. And then let's find chrome, our metal ion, that's up here. So in this case, it looks like our metal ion is more reactive. So this reaction will not be spontaneous.